We've had quite a month here at WDAY TV. Celebrating our 70th anniversary has been a walk back in time. Seeing and hearing from those early pioneers has been heartwarming <laughs> and energizing for many of us here. It has. Tonight, the incredible changes in technology from chemical film processors, phone booths, and two way radios to live reports and sporting events using equipment the size of a sandwich. The story tonight from WDAY news reporter Kevin Wallavent. When WDY TV went on the air in June of 1953, it must have felt like an Einstein moment. Tonight we enter a new phase. The towers, transmitters, cables, wires, and tubes, all needed to get a grainy black and white signal out to eager viewers. And so few people had televisions back then, neighbors would gather to watch. The first person to get, have a TV in Lisbon was a guy by the name of Red Blakely. And they lived right across the street from us. For And so we went over there a few times. To start with, everything was live. Our lifeblood. The news. With rare wine. The musical acts. Yep. TV ads were done live. Get one quart of your choice for just one penny. When Dewey started doing weather back then, he used flip charts and chalk for the forecast. In between, he pitched Schmidt beer. For graphics and advertisements on the screen, we used metal-type set pieces. These are for First National Bank and Scoot's Dress Shop. And we used slide projectors to display ads for years. And local programs, including news, have been in full color. To get news on the air, our photographers had to rush the film back to WDY, get it to the film processors, and then wait. Eventually, a huge room at WDY would house a tape room. Ads were manually loaded on a two-inch tape machine. But change was coming in. News Center 6 is scanning the skies. Using Dewey got radar. We went to color. Here in the calculator from J.C. Penney. So join us, all of us, 6 and 10 daily on WDAY News Center 6. And soon satellite use and news changed everything. Well, good morning to you, Dana. It's 6 o'clock here in the morning in Kuwait. The sun is already out and it's hot and a little bit windy. And WDAY was the first in the region to get a mobile satellite truck. On the spot coverage for news and sports. The series four games to three. Minnesota remaining untouchable here at the Metrodome. Our clunky news cameras in the studio, now robotic. Our 1980s field cameras, hooked by a cable to a shoulder recorder, now small and light. And no film or videotape, everything on an SD card. We go live in sports and news, not with a satellite truck, but with a backpack. WDAY now producing 43 hours a week of local news and programming, covering stories here at home or documentaries from all over the world. We decided to come to this part of the world, which sits on the Serb-Kosovo border. And welcome to Uganda, Africa. Think back to the 1970s. Bureau right here in the studio. Election night was telephones and legwork. Now we know results in seconds. Those early days of film, now an era of digitized information and entertainment. One thing hasn't changed, a family-owned local TV station that finds it an honor to be in your home every night and day. Thank you, Jesse. And that is our news, weather, and sports tonight. From all of us at WDAY, thanks for being with us. Kevin Wallivan, WDAY News. And in addition to those of you watching on regular TV at home, we want to thank those of you streaming our news on your TVs or watching right in the palm of your hand on your phone. So much has changed in 70 years. I've loved this so much. You can't even begin to explain no. how much things <laughs> have changed. Right.